With a couple of players who've been here a long time, first of all, who've said their farewells in George Ray and Ben Garrett. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, obviously it's disappointing for him to see people leave from you know, being with us since the age of nine. Um, but people have to move on and we have to move on. Um, we wish them the very best in their, in their careers and there's no hard feelings. Um, they're both on, honest, good pros um, who, who give everything for the club when they play. So, um, yeah, it is what it is and um, we'll go our separate ways and hopefully both move on. Contracts were on the table. George Ray declined his. Ben <coughs> Garrett was still open to sorting it out in the end, but in the end you've decided as a football club it was time to make that decision. Was that a hard, real hard one to, to take? It was. It was. Um, I mean, Ben had a, a while to, to sign his contract and in the, in the end I think it sends a, a message out. Um, we, we don't want to be second best when people are um, looking for other clubs with a contract from us on the table. So um, there was uh, all different things, uh, a number of things why, um, why it never, never happened in the end. Um, but well, yeah, it is what it is, and uh, again, we wish Ben all the best, and we thank him for um, everything he's done. I know the season's only just finished, but how big a time is it now for Will Yaskalain, who got in at the end of the season, and for Dave Richards, who unfortunately suffered an injury, to come back fit and strong? Are, are, are those your two men that you're, you're staking for the number one position? Oh, we'll have to see. We'll, um, um, we know what we're looking for, so um, we don't need to really talk about what we're looking for at this point. Um, so, but yeah, there's, there's opportunities there for not just goalkeepers, but um, when people leave, there's opportunities for people to, to stake a claim. And um, again, it's not just goalkeepers, it's throughout the squad. And if you, if you can take, take your chance when you get your chance and come back as um, fit as possible, you know, um, and show, show the manager and myself um, what you've been doing off season and come back in the best condition and give yourself the best possible chance, you know, you never know. You won't know what's going to happen in terms of how well some of your players did last season, whether there's the offers to take them to the higher leagues. That's an eventuality you have to wait for, of course. But in your squad, is there other players that you might be allowing to, to go if, if things happen? Is there any, anything like that going to develop? Yeah, we, we've agreed with Sean, Sean Miller. He can, um, he's open to a free transfer. Um, it's, it's mutual. Um, we know Sean's a good player and we wouldn't have given him a contract he, he's got. Um, but it hasn't quite worked out. Um, we we both spoke and we both agree that um, if there's a club there that um, he can get fixed up with, he, um, we're quite happy for him to leave. And we've also agreed if he if he doesn't end up going, he'll give everything to the club like he's he's always done. So um, it, it, we'll have to see what happens. Um, Sean, uh, Sean, you don't get to fit. You want another career. Sean's got if you're not a good player. So um, we'll be happy either way whether Sean. Stays or Sean goes. You just mentioned Sean Miller. Obviously, Alex Nichols went as well. He was another striker. Jordan Barron's another one out of contract. Ben Garrett's contract was sort of taken away at the end of the day. What's the situation with Jordan Barron? Has he got a time limit now? Well, there's always a time limit. You can't wait for, for ever, so there's always a time limit. We won't go into the, the time limit. Um, Jordan's been offered a, a contract, as you said. Um, we're waiting for him to come back and to hear from him uh, again. Um, we'll have a, a list of, of strikers um, if Jordan decides to, to sign which we want him to sign because we've offered him a contract um, then we'll be happy to have him but um, if he chooses not to then obviously we'll have to do some homework That's a bit of a key decision then that you're waiting on because he, he's a, a player as you say, a striker who's out of contract and you all work within a budget, so you, you, till, till you get a decision from there, I suppose it restricts you a little bit. Yeah, I think it's uh, the sooner the better for, for both, but it's got to be right for both. And again, it's not just a, a one way thing, it's not just Jordan waiting on a contract and seeing where he can get and then coming back to crew. We, and it, it's not us going, listen, we, we found someone better on the list, and listen, your contract's not there. We, um, it's again a two way thing, and um, we'll have to just wait and see what happens.